Maria, yes, that is all you need to know, so stay with me to discuss the Warden spec for Rose. Hello my friends, today is Tuesday, so welcome to yet another Rated W for Warcraft video, and not any video, but the 10th chapter of this series. Now, regarding this spec idea, I think I do not need to explain to you why Warnons make so much sense as a rogue spec, but let me walk you through the train of thought that brought me here. Indeed, my friends, at first I thought of giving the Gunslinger spec to rogues, but then it hit me, clear as daylight. Rogues should have Warden as a spec. I already know, I can sense that you are already agreeing with me. Besides the fact that they are stealthy fighters, Wardens act on their own terms and their own rules, which is kinda roguish if you ask me. They were the first units to introduce the Fan of Knives ability as a Warcraft 3 hero, and if you remember, they also had the Poison Dagger ability. And in case you are having any doubts, remember that Maiev Shadow Song is a rogue hero in Hearthstone. In terms of gameplay. I am still trying to decide if Wardens should be tanks or melee damage dealers, so tell me in the comments what you think. The weapon of choice would be a two-handed glaive, kinda like my F's Chakram, or dual wielding glaives, again these Chakram things. Their main resource would be Rage, and before you say anything about energy being the signature resource for rogues, allow me to tell you that Rage makes a lot of sense once you consider how wrathful is my F as a character. Indeed, if you choose to go down the path of the Warden, you will become a true embodiment of vengeance, and you will harass your enemies with a Vengeance Strike. This will be your main attack, granting you the combo points and the rage needed for your special attacks. When dealing with groups of enemies, the Rogue will use the traditional Fan of Knives ability. With a short cooldown, it will also provide a combo point and a small amount of rage. As a Warden, you will be juggling between two finishing moves. The first one is Crescent Moon, which deals arcane damage and applies a debuff that reduces the target chance to hit you. It consumes 5 rage per combo point, increasing the damage and the effectiveness of the debuff. The other finishing move is Umbrel Slash. It also deals arcane damage but increases your critical strike chance. Each combo point generates 5 rage and further increases the power of the buff. Managing your rage is crucial. For your passive, Short Temper will force you to keep at bay your wrathful intentions if you want to keep the 15% increased damage buff. At the same time, Spirit of Vengeance is both a core mechanic for this build and a great way of getting rid of your inner rage. Summon a powerful shadow that consumes a minimum of 25 rage and each additional point consumed beyond that will increase its duration. At the same time, the shadow's damage will be increased for each point of your current rage. Spirit of Vengeance also enables Shadow Shift, allowing you to switch locations with your summon minion. The mastery for Wardens is Great Vengeance which increases your arcane damage and the damage of your spirit of vengeance by a percentage. For talents, this spec counts with Warden's Cage, force your enemies to a 0% movement speed and to receive increased damage from all your attacks. From the shadows, I come is a great talent when dealing with other players. Counting with an additional charge, your shadow shift will allow you to take more advantage from your spirit of vengeance. If you do not enjoy cooling your rage, then you can choose Avenging Fury to replace your temper. This talent now provides you with a buff when you are at high levels of rage. Finally, Obsession is a long cooldown skill that turns you into a true killing machine. For a duration, you will not consume or generate rage, making sure you get the most benefit from your current rage level. After the Legion invasion, the Warden Order is in need for new members. Do you have what it takes to follow this wrathful path? Now, I have to say that I do not like rogues that much, but I swear that I would totally play one just to spec into Warden. This build is more DPS oriented, but as I said, I can also picture Wardens as tanks. What do you think? DPS or tanks? I also think that Wardens should be a whole new class, so eventually I will make a new class idea video about Wardens. Maybe as a class we can include both DPS and tanking specs. The faction to unlock this spec would obviously be the Wardens, and the questline would send you to the heart of the most corrupted Barrow Dance and the Vault of the Wardens. What are your thoughts? I can sense that right now you are thinking in creating a female Night Elf Rogue and name her Maiev X, aren't you? 
also the amazing rail suggested sabotage as a rogue tank in spec and i am already thinking in this build for the next rogue spec video for now i hope that you enjoyed this one don't forget to give it a good like and subscribe to my channel remember that you can support me on patreon if you like my work and want to check the progress on ambassador but if you follow me on my social networks it's also a great way of supporting me for free be sure to check the videos about my own story harbinger of the ancestors a huge thanks to all my patrons that make all this possible. See you next Tuesday, guys!